Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to discuss more about new features in Odoo 18 accounting that is PO and vendor bill matching. So I am not going to talk about you know down payment but I am going to talk about how real time Odoo works when we create a vendor bill directly and then how we can match this to either existing PO or how Odoo behaves when it doesn't find any existing matching PO. So let's see. What I have done is I have created a fresh vendor bill, a new vendor bill on towards vendor 3 and I am buying a test 1 product and billing it. So the respective Anglo section accounting has been taken here with this consideration. So it has hit my ledger stock received but not billed over here with 1000. Okay. And in counterpart, uh, you know, uh, there is nothing because I haven't actually received it. But directly it has created an entry in my creditor's account. So these two entries have been set up. I am booking this and uh, let's say I am also paying this. Right. So this part is done. And now it is asking me to match existing, uh, you know, PO. I don't have any PO in place right so how we can move forward with this right so if i go here in purchase match and if i select this and add to po okay it will ask me to create a new po okay so i would like to add product to a new po so a fresh po has been created with the same amount and everything and then uh, you know i can just receive my product also so once i receive my product towards this po it will set off my entries in my ledger for my inventory also so now first i have created vendor bill i have paid and now i am going to receive my inventories so now inventory is debiting towards my this particular entry wh11 with po20 and receipt number is wh11 so this is how it works. Now let's see the other way around. I am creating a new purchase order with vendor 3 where I am taking two products like test 1 and test 2. Okay. So I am buying two product and I am confirming this product. Okay. Now what I will do is I haven't received anything. I will directly create a vendor bill for this. So where I am going into vendor and bill and create a new bill for vendor 3. So either I can take directly from PO okay, to auto complete. So once I click here, it will auto complete both the product. Okay, I haven't received anything. So it takes zero. But let's say I am doing I am I am doing the billing for two two units which is not matching with my PO at all. Right? I am confirming. Okay, and then I have to give a bill date and I confirm. Okay. So this is connected with my purchase 21 where now you can see build is two and then I uh, can see one one is about to receive. So this is how uh it is already matching because I have selected that, you know, uh, fetching quantity details. And then it has allowed me to create bill. So if I now go to purchase order, this is my purchase order where one quantity is there. And in my receipt, I can also receive now two units, let's say, and validate this. So against one, I have received two and I have created bill for two also. So this is how Odoo has set off everything like that. Now let's see another case where I am again buying uh, and creating a new PO for the same test one. Let's say two units and test two for two units and I confirm order. Right. Now let's say vendor is asking me for an advance payment for test product one only so test one i am keeping two 
I'm keeping this. I confirm this. And then once I go to purchase matching, it will show me the relevant purchases where two units have been there. So in my bill, I have test one product and then I am mapping PO22 with test one product and I would like to match that. So now what it has done, like if I go back to my PO, now you will see one vendor bill is already there in present right which is connected now if i go and receive both the product now you can see this and i go to vendor bill i can confirm this bill this is for test one product only now in po22 now i can create another bill which directly you know take me to entire bill but i don't want to create a separate bill for test one which i already created i can remove that line and then confirm this bill so for po22 you can see uh, this bill matching build let me connect back again so po22 test one to match and confirm so with bill matching now odoo hasn't uh, respect my bill you see bill number eight which is already paid uh, okay i haven't updated quantity sorry so let me do that again this kind of transaction All right so what i will do is let me create a separate new po po23 so Uru is working perfectly fine. Let me create three units and three units in this PO. I am confirming this PO three of three and then I will create a new vendor bill towards vendor three where let me check my quantities one after another. So I'm going back to my purchase. Now this time test two three products. Let me keep test two three product and then confirm this bill. So it will allow me to purchase matching. So in purchase matching test two, I am matching this. Okay. So I am matching purchase twenty three with this vendor bill so now you can see odoo has created a fresh bill with zero quantity because i haven't received anything so that's why odoo is right i haven't received anything it has created zero bill let me cancel this out and i already have one bill for three units i am going into po and once i receive all this item against po23 and now if i want to match with PO23, it is again, you know, creating a fresh bill only. It is not matching my existing bill. So, Odoo demands exactly both the item to match exact vendor bill. So, I reset to draft. I also add test one now with three units. I confirm this now i'm going back to purchase you see your 23 and i would like to match again it is not matching i don't know why i have received everything but odoo is always creating a new vendor bill for me so this is how odoo is behaving where i already have one vendor bill you know you can see two are cancelled one vendor three bill is in draft mode but I don't want to hit that. I only only want to have bill matching, which is existing. Okay, this 11 number bill, which is exactly matching. And if I say it to PO, so PO 23 now I am saying, say add product. So now it is doing the adding product again, you see. So Odoo is not accurately uh, catching my, you know, uh, vendor bill over here in this particular method.
right three already built and three already done so i'm cancelling this out and yeah so this is my po in my vendor bill this po 23 which i want to you know connect with my purchase which is indirectly connected you can see so matching is already been done with po 23 right so if i go back to my purchase purchase order 23 i already have vendor bill but you can see the items are duplicated over here three received here three build here and Udu is not accurate in matching this okay so i put the reset to draft which this this vendor bill was created in advance and then matching is over here only so i don't want to do anything now let it be like that only so po23 have one vendor bill matching which is not paid okay so this is how i am setting down the entries let me create this scenario again with a new vendor vendor 4 i'm putting test 1 test 2 with 1 and 1 unit i just confirm that okay and in vendor bill i will create a new bill for vendor 4 with today's date and then make test 1 test 2 and confirm this now i can directly match over here but it it will allow me to match when i already received my item so what i will do is i will go back to my purchase and i receive this if i want to do in advance let me check if it is allowing me you must select at least one purchase order line so this and match okay it has created a new vendor bill you see so in po23 if i go to vendor bill this is a new vendor bill, but i already have 12 number vendor bill which odoo is not capturing over here against this po you see i am cancelling this out then i am going into po let me done with my receipt and then if I allow to match so it is not allowing me with this way okay so PO 24 test 2 and test 2 it is not allowing me to match like that but now if i go back to my vendor bill then if i want to match with my po let's see now it is creating a new vendor bill only so this is how uh, it is not perfectly working when i have multiple products and partial things to be done you see so purchase matching is not working and it is allowing me to or asking me to create a fresh vendor bill so it is creating a duplicate bills for us right so this is what my finding about purchase matching and vendor bill entries hope this will help how to use this uh, in certain scenarios thank you guys